Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Built. My name is Kelly. I'm Trevor. And today Trevor is getting Molly panels on the back of his 4Runner. Stay tuned. All right, bro. So tell me, why are you getting these Molly panels? Really, it's about storage, uh, organization, and you know, safety. Uh, for storage, to get things, you know, little things that I grab a lot and I can put them on here and have quick access to them, um, but also safety to be able to have my fire extinguisher mounted in a better spot that I can get to it instead of tucked uh, under a seat. <laughs> you know, not a not a good spot for it. Um, so that's that's the primary reasons is just getting access and better utilization of the space. Yeah, and for the record, these are steel, so they're definitely going to hold a lot of weight. And yeah. I can attest, Trevor has a lot of accoutrements. Yeah, I got a, a lot of little things. I mean, with uh, two kids, dogs, and everything else, you know, it just kind of piles piles up and you know when it, you're piles piles, piles and of piles, piles of <laughs> yeah and you're you're really trying to to show things in every nook and cranny there's still a lot of dead space that needs to be filled yeah all right no further ado let's get this thing installed do it all you're going to need are socket set socket wrench extension pick phillips head four millimeter allen wrench the first part of getting the Molly panels into the Forerunner is a pre-installation. You have to install the wing and the top bracket. To do this, super easy, four millimeter uh, Allen and putting them on. Cali raised LED uh, messed up and they only sent us four uh, black washers instead of six. So we had to dig into Kelly's parts bin and got two washers. It's not a big deal, but it's kind of annoying because now we have silver washers on an all black setup. So I kind of, I, I'm going to contact them and get them to send me the right washers because at the price that this, this thing is, they should absolutely uh, send all the proper hardware. First things first, we're going to put the wing on. This is the passenger side to put it on uh, the curve. The bottom actually flares up. Um, that's how it's installed. This also flares up underneath and then we'll put the bolts in and tighten them down. Good and tight is the torque specs on that, no big deal. Um, now we're gonna move to the top support. One of the good things about the Cali raised um, Molly system is that they have um, fitted nuts pressed into the holes so you don't have to fidget with a nut behind it. However, one of them came out and this is for the mid support, um, but we should be able to hammer it back in. We can also, uh, as we're tightening, it should press it back in hopefully if it doesn't strip out because um, then it'll just spin. But it shouldn't be a huge deal. Um, but just again, for uh, $350 for a Molly set uh, that's steel, um, little things like this should be uh, not an issue. But obviously they are. All right, top mount. Boom, that is the pre-install. Now, to the Forerunner. <laughs> Before we start putting the Molly panel inside, we need to prep uh, just opening up all the bolts and everything on here. I'm gonna start with the top hook here, and it's just a pinch, move that out, and you got a 10 millimeter bolt right there. This is from my uh, install of the uh, roof attic from uh, Blue Ridge Overland Gear. We'll be reinstalling that later. This bolt from this is gonna be the only bolt, uh, even if you don't have the Brog, 
uh, you're going to be using this bolt to reinstall. All the other ones are replaced uh, from Kelly Raised LED. This one right here, flathead screwdriver, just pop off on the bottom and boop, right off, 10 millimeter screw. And once you break it, you can use a Phillips head. It comes out a little faster. And if you want, you can actually use this one um, for the top one because it's black, so that way it kind of keeps the whole uh, nice dark aesthetic on there. Um, so we'll probably be using this one versus the silver one that was there. Next one is the coat hanger type thing. It's kind of weird funky, but you just rotate and then it pops off. And I think it's actually for a cargo net. Yeah, it's like cargo net or something on there. You won't be able to use uh, this plastic piece again, so you can keep it if you ever want to take this off or discard. And then it is a Phillips head. That's that bolt and that's it. Now let's grab the panel and put that in. I'll bring it to you. Oh, thanks, bro. So the, the easiest way to do it is just put it onto the fender well and then kind of lift it into place. Um, you got a little bit of a, a, a gap, but it's not gonna be bad. We'll start at the top. And then we just lift it up a little bit. I'll just hand tighten that one. For these, spacer of course goes behind. And then you have a little oval channel that is what we're going to mount into uh, I need the uh, four millimeter whoa <laughs> special effects <laughs> I'm just gonna put it in a couple threads just to hold it there and now we'll get that one Spacer goes right into the, the hole there, uh, the little oval here, and then hand tight. And we're just gonna get a couple more threads on there so I know it's not, it's a little too much resistance. All right, there we go. All right, a couple threads. And now you can kinda, kinda adjust it the way you want, but it is, cut very nicely into it so it's recessed in really well um, and now we will yeah just go ahead and tighten this thing down it should be all set now we're just going to tighten it up using the four millimeter uh, honestly if you have a four millimeter on a socket it'd probably be a little easier a little faster I'm gonna tighten up this side and then I'll tighten up the top because the top's not gonna to really move. I wanna make sure that my uh, front back adjustment is where I want it. And now. All right, so 10 millimeter socket on that, four millimeter Allen wrenches on the bottom. And that's it. I mean, uh, as far as our installs go, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, I really like how tucked in it is. And you know, you have a few options when it comes to Molly panels in the fifth gen 4Runner. Um, I went with the Cali Raced LED for two reasons. One, um, I felt like it had a more low profile, larger surface area, and also extended down more. Um, all the other ones kind of, and here, this has a little bit more to the bottom, so you can just add more, uh, more space, more storage solutions to it. The other reason that I got it is uh, they have a shelf option, and there's a couple companies out there that have uh, shelf options that go across the back of the 4Runner, um, but the Cali Raised one 
is in the middle. Passenger side's done, moving over to driver's side. That was a down and dirty install. It was really fast. It took about an hour to do. It was pretty quick. Yeah, it was really easy, um, really low profile and just pretty nice. Um, one of the cool things that I just actually noticed is on each side it has bottle openers on there. So mm -hmm. never have to be digging for a bottle opener when you need it. Yep. Plus one for Cali raised LED. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Remember, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Also, follow us on IG, AdventureBuilt underscore. See you guys next time. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. I don't, I don't know. Definitely not how that needs to be. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. No. Actually, can you put it like here? <laughs> I'm in jail. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it's really a... No. I'm just going <laughs> yeah. off. <laughs> so, this one time. Yeah. Big camp. Big camp. Yeah. It's good lighting. I look good. You don't look good, but it's good lighting. Okay. Good. <laughs> it's as much as I can hope for. Oh, is it still going? Yeah. Uh, what are you running? Uh -huh. Jackass. <laughs> I'm all thumbs to it. <laughs> As opposed to every other day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I'm so nimble. <laughs> need help? You need, you need a lifeline right now? <laughs> Passenger side. St Go ahead. You're moving the camera. Yep. Good now. <laughs> you had one job. Do it perfect. <laughs> Passenger side. St <laughs> Done. Done, can't work in these conditions. <laughs> <sighs> I asked for orange Skittles only. <laughs> uh, all right.